Right, in this video, I'll be showing you how to install a keylogger into Ubuntu. Yes, a keylogger of all things. All the, all the ethics on that aside, I'm just going to show you how it's done and you can use it how you want to. The application I'll be showing you is called Log Keys. It's only an alpha release and is no longer in development because from what I read on the website, the developer has passed away so, and no one else has picked up the project just yet. So if it doesn't work, it don't work. <laughs> That's about as good as you'll get. I'll show you what to do here. There is quite a bit you'll have to do. If there are problems with it, then try the forums. If it really doesn't work, like I said, you're going to be out of luck. So open up the terminal and type in the following. sudo apt get install log keys. Yeah, believe it or not, the key logger is, comes in the repositories for Ubuntu. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty surprised about that. Now if you try and run it, just typing log keys, it says got root. So the clue there, do you have a root user? No, I don't. But now I do. You just need to type sudo before it. So let's go and test it out first. So I'm going to create a new log file by typing in touch, call it test.log. Now I'll need to find a key map. It does come with a US key map pre-installed. I've not got a US keyboard. So I'll need a keyboard from off this list. So let's take the English keyboard because that's what I'm using. Wget and I've copied that link there. So there we are engb.map. Clear the screen. So to run it, type in sudo log keys dash s to start it. Now if you're using a United States keyboard, use dash u. For any other keyboard, like you would have just downloaded from that list there on the right hand side, dash m, the map name. And I'm going to use the testing output file, dash o test.log. There we go. Let's open up a new terminal window. And I'll type in there tail hyphen hyphen follow test dot log. Now you can see there anything I type. <laughs> there you go, it would be particularly lethal if I now went across to my Gmail. Should just use the link really, shouldn't I? There we go. Now of course it doesn't show you what's on the screen. Or where the mouse or what the mouse has clicked on. But if I was to type in there are my username <laughs> and my secret password, <laughs> it's all clear as day. If I stop following that and just uh, viewed the output of the file, you can see what we have there. And to stop log keys, type in sudo log keys dash k. If I don't want all the function keys being logged, you can add in dash dash no dash func dash keys. So that covers the basics on how to use it. Right, now to make it run at startup. So type in sudo dash capital H, then gedit slash etc slash init.d slash log keys, and you can press the tab key to auto complete. Okay, so there's a few changes we're going to have to make here. So I'm going to comment out that line there. Test dash x daemon exit zero. I'm going to comment out that line as well. And then I'm going to get rid of that dash u. And change it for the keyboard map that I'm using. So dash m. So I'll put in the location of that file. Now for the log file, I could use something like that, which I think is well, it's almost like it's default, which I forgot what the default is off the top of my head now. It's probably like log keys dot log. Then the next part I need to add in here, dash dash chuid root space. Save that. Just move that out of the way. And let's use this lot I just use this terminal screen here. Then type in sudo service log keys start. Huh, now I need yet another terminal window, don't I? Right, let's uh, tell what lads and tab to this one. Open a tab. Right, one moment here because I don't want to give away my root password. 
So I'm going to stop the service moment. Then I need to do sudo. Now type in sudo tail follow var log keys log. Ooh, that hasn't worked, has it? I'm going to take away that line where it says device. I'm going to also take out the line where it says daemon ops up there as well. So I'm going to really mess around with this file. Right, save that. Right, let's go and test it out now. So I stop it again. Has that worked? Any, yep. Yeah, that's all there. So that's working now. So next time it'll reboot, log keys will automatically start. So there you go, that's how to install a keylogger into Ubuntu. So thanks for watching, see you later.